Tibet, nearly as big as China or European Russia, and with its average of 16,000 feet above sea level, literally the roof of the world. The huge mountains and deep valleys, snow-covered and majestic, dwarf the human beings who live their lives in the impressive solitudes. Villages cut out of solid rock are homes to many of these hardy folk, whose frugality and noble resignation alone make living possible. Towns there are, of course, but often their existence is the result of a deep religious sense that produces the great temples amidst the barrenness. Tibet is an immense desert without trees, and to build the temples, wood must be brought from the Sitkal valleys on the frontier, hundreds of miles away. Few Europeans are privileged to approach these architectural symbols of Tibetan faith, and seldom are they permitted to view or film the religious dances that have a ritual understood only by the participants. The masks and the rhythm of their weird music, produced by the drums and long horns, have been handed down from time immemorial, yet their symbolism is known only to the players. A strange land, serene and fascinating, that in this world of ever-increasing knowledge remains comparatively unknown, aloof from the rest and impenetrable in its stark grandeur. <laughs>